Welcome to this introduction to constructive alignment. Constructive alignment is a principle that is used to design learning experiences. It helps us as educators avoid the common mistaken tendency of starting out our design with the question, what will I teach? And instead requires us to ask, what will students learn? This may seem subtle at first, but applying the principle of constructive alignment leads us to design learning in fundamentally different ways. The intention of this introduction is for you to become able to identify the three elements to be aligned when using the principle of constructive alignment. So what are these three elements? First, our outcomes. We begin with a statement of what we want the learning outcomes to be for students. That is, what is it we want students to be able to do, to know, and to value in the end? Getting really clear on exactly what the purpose is and expressing these as learning outcomes is the essential first step for constructive alignment. Second is assessment. That is, how will we know that students have achieved the outcomes as set out? How will students demonstrate or show evidence of what they have learned? And then third is teaching. Here is where we decide on the teaching and learning activities students will engage in that are likely to produce the outcomes we intend in ways that can be assessed. In short, constructive alignment is a process of starting with the outcomes we intend for students and aligning the teaching and assessment to those outcomes. When we use constructive alignment, we are focused on the alignment between these three key elements. What we want students to learn, or the outcomes. How we will know they have learned it, or the assessment. And the experience we can provide or direct students towards that allow for this learning to take place, the teaching and learning activities. You may wish to self-assess and see how well you are now able to use these three elements. You could reflect on one of your own more established lessons or teaching activities and see if the triangle and its prompts help you identify outcomes, assessment, and teaching experiences. If you find it challenging, you may want to replay this introduction as you think through the elements again, or alternatively, you may want to look for additional resources on constructive alignment, including those by John Biggs, who introduced this principle, especially for higher education contexts.